Today, we're going to be testing which one of these tsunami bunkers best survives the Stormworks tsunami. Let's get started. So first up is this small little tsunami escape pod looking thing. And I'm going to somehow stuff myself in here while a tsunami hits me. And you can actually see it forming right over there. So let's go ahead and get in this thing and try surviving this. All right, so here's our hatch here that we can open and close. It looks like it can fit actually two people. And um, these are actually things in real life. Um, people build these to help survive like floods and hurricanes, mainly in like the coast states. But here we go. Let's go ahead and hop in this thing. It, it is pretty big. And I thought it'd be a little bit tighter, but that's perfectly fine. Here we go. Uh, equip thermal clothing okay we're definitely doing that yeah it's pretty cool in here we got a light uh there we go okay we do have a light and a heater okay yeah i'd definitely be able to survive in this thing uh where's the tsunami at oh gosh this is a little cool i actually like this all right the tsunami is coming we're gonna be testing if this uh escape pod thing can actually survive it uh oh gosh this is really scary uh, we could fit another person in here but if we look through our little uh porthole that we have right here and there is a uh, tsunami going towards us it's about to crash straight over that mountain there that's a little concerning but um i think we could survive it is watertight in here i think yeah this door right here is watertight and we're gonna keep that closed uh oh gosh i see the tsunami it's about to crash over the main island right there oh this is gonna be interesting oh here we go it's i think it's starting to hit it it's gonna go over any second there we go uh oh the tsunami is crashing over mainland okay getting a seat right now we're gonna be testing if this works oh gosh first or third person i don't know okay we're gonna do third and then switch to first like when we're in the middle of the wave it is completely crashing over the hangar oh gosh here we go will we survive and oh oh we're floating okay that's a good sign oh it's gonna drag us oh no we're gonna surf it aren't we oh here we go okay we're on the top of the wave uh yep it is waterproof in here so that's good oh gosh okay i think this is actually doing quite well um yeah so it is gonna flip what happens if it flips and lands on like the door so we can't get out um oh gosh oh it, it landed perfectly i think oh that was a success oh my gosh rubber belt this did a great job okay let's get out of here see if everything's working great yeah i mean we survived that with very minimal scratches it is really hard to get out of this thing okay uh i think we're stuck in here um all right on to the next um escape pod thing now we're going to be testing this weird looking um square that says help all over it with a hazard sign right there and these are actually um floaties that um some boats use to land on water actually so i'm pretty sure this should be able to float but let's go ahead and hop inside this thing supposedly it has a ton of seating in it so let's go ahead and check this out oh my how many seats is this uh six right there and then seven eight. this thing can carry eight people that's actually surprising but there's no lights in here oh no okay they have to use our flash like and there's no windows to see like if the tsunami passed or if the door is not underwater i don't know it's it's pretty cool but uh i wish they would have like windows and sit right in the middle here because the middle is the safest just in case the walls do get crushed in okay this is gonna be interesting where's the tsunami at i do see it over there okay let's see what happens hopefully search and rescue crews um can rescue me because there is a whole bunch of help they really spelled help with two l's um oh oh gosh um that is actually kind of spelling something else there and then they put a p at the end oh uh, there is a boat over there uh i wonder how they're gonna do um that looks like a oil tanker or something uh, i think they're gonna probably capsize from how it's looking but here we go tsunami is starting to rise in that little lake right there oh gosh it's definitely starting to rise okay this is gonna be interesting um it is pretty cozy in here so oh gosh it's going straight through the hangar that thing's not even waterproof oh gosh here we go will we survive the tsunami in this um escape pod okay we're floating on it i don't think we've actually gone completely underwater yet okay that's a good sign okay up here at the top is gonna be interesting okay we're floating really good this thing floats oh my that was really nice this thing survived like that was butter I, I barely even felt that we went over a tsunami it just stayed afloat on the top of it the entire time that was really good let's go ahead and get to the next one next up we have this like tsunami boat i don't know it has like propellers on it and there's a really expensive camera on the top how do we get in this thing it's like so small is there a oh there's a hatch on the top okay this thing has an entire like gimbal camera on it let's go ahead and hop in this thing uh hatch why can we lock the hat oh Oh my gosh, it like glows when you click lock hatch. All right, get inside of here and close the hatch. Oh, it's just a, it's a two-seater. Okay, um, how do we drive this? Okay, we get in the seat here, turn on the monitor. Oh gosh, the monitor, oh. Oh, we can like control the camera on here, but it's upside down. Um, okay, why is this camera upside down? I can't like see correctly. Okay, what we're gonna do here is flip. All right, we got a outside view right now. So at least uh, it doesn't have windows, but it has a expensive camera on the top that's 20 times more expensive than a window. But here we go. Um, we're just looking for the tsunami right here. Um, external light. Oh my gosh. Wait, can we drive W and S? Does W and S drive? Oh my gosh. We can actually drive. And it can turn. Okay. Uh, this is going to be, an is it electric though? I think it's probably using like all of our battery, isn't it? It's using a quite a bit of it, but we can drive in this thing. So that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try surfing the tsunami in this um, escape pod thing. Okay. The tsunami starting to crash over mainland. Okay. If we're going to floor right now, bring the propellers. Here we go. We're flooring it. Will this thing um, drive on the tsunami? I'm going to turn right too. So we can kind of turn right like that. Okay. This is going to be interesting. We do have our little monitor out here that kind of works. Okay. Okay, there we go okay turn 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 oh oh gosh don't flip it don't flip it okay we're 
We're surfing a tsunami right now. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Actually, we kind of are surfing it. Oh, gosh. We are surfing a tsunami right now in a tsunami escape pod. That is quite interesting. Um. Oh, uh, is this thing fast enough to, like, c continuously surf it without? No, I, I don't think so. I think we're about to go over the top. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit too slow, but it is pretty fast for this little thing. We're using up, like, all of our battery right now. Oh, there we go. I think we're going to go right behind it on this. All right, we're going to turn around here, see if this thing can float. I'm guess It definitely can because we're already at the top here. But, yeah, that was pretty good. This thing's really good at surviving. Um, let's see how it can do just in normal waters. This is like a pretty good lifeboat for like a boat if you'd use it. That boat actually right over there did survive it. So that is quite impressive. It survived. Let's go ahead and switch to the next uh, tsunami escape pod thing. Now we're going to be testing this uh, tsunami bunker thing and Komodo Gaming actually did make this. So this is going to be quite interesting. Let's go ahead and hop in this thing and see how it actually uh, withstands the tsunami. So let's go in here, close that door, open this one. Okay, so right here is like an airlock. I think this is like a drain. I don't know what those buttons are, but we have a camera right there. So someone's looking at us. Okay, we're going to turn on in lights, exit lights. Um, um, oh, oh my gosh, there's a med bay in here. What's this button do? Uh, what, are the, what is this? Oh, it's like a CCTV, and I think that's the room we were just in. Um, let's go ahead, go over here, do a little bit of a tour here while the tsunami's coming. What's this? Um, what does that do? I don't know. It like doesn't tell me what it does. I think it's just for show. It might be for show. Yeah, I think it's for show. I don't know. Uh, we're just probably not going to want to click that because it might kill us. And then uh, that's basically it, but he has that uh, powerful engine right there. Let's go out up here to the helm, and there's a whole bunch of seating. We got, we got 9, 10, 11, 12 seating, including the captain. Let's turn on the starter here and oh gosh that really blinked the lights here okay put the throttle up and drop the clutch a little bit down and it should technically start driving um can we drive yeah we are driving this thing is a tank guys we're currently driving a tsunami bunker like tank looking thing what's down here is this just filled with air or fuel i don't know it's oh it's like a bat hold on a second i think this thing could go in the bottom of the ocean you know we're gonna test that out once this um tsunami hits us we're gonna try driving this to the bottom of the ocean because i think yeah there's like a sink button and a surface so that's really cool i, I want to see what this thing is actually capable of here i think this thing would actually um not be able to drive when the tsunami goes over because i think our air manifold would go underwater and it'd completely stall the engine but we're gonna see here actually i wonder if this thing's gonna rise the tsunami or completely like stay on the ground i mean it looks pretty heavy but i don't think it will stay on the ground it looks like it floats because there's a whole bunch of air in here but um i bet if we click sink it would stay on the ground but we're just gonna see if it uh floats in general and then once we're done with the tsunami we'll drive it straight into the ocean and see if it can drive on the bottom of the ocean floor that'd be pretty cool here we go we're gonna be testing if this can actually survive the tsunami we're to drive into it here and oh gosh uh oh it's lifting us completely up and our engine did just stall okay that's fine okay we're going up uh, we're completely underwater it is water tight in here and oh gosh that's a lot of air time oh my head's hit in the ceiling oh no oh wow this thing actually stayed level it didn't like capsize okay that's pretty cool oh it's bringing me into the ocean i didn't even drive it at oh gosh um okay we're in the ocean now does this thing have like rudders to drive in oh it does okay so we can drive in the water that's cool so this thing also acts as a boat okay and then we're gonna click sink here which will open all those and it will probably sink quite fast here because there's water filling up in this room currently will this thing drive on the bottom of the ocean let's go ahead completely stop this thing and see if we can sink it cool cool oh gosh there we go it's getting really deep now it's about to go over our helm here and then that's we got some cameras here cctv there we go okay we are lowering our ballast is bringing us down underwater here that is it is working okay that's the tsunami that uh just went over us probably hitting multiple more people and i think we're completely underwater yeah we are okay let's go in third person we we are completely submerged we're going straight to the bottom okay can we drive on the bottom that will be quite interesting and can we drive um oh oh my gosh there's no way this thing can drive that is crazy we are driving on the bottom of the ocean is there like a speed uh there isn't a speedometer but that's pretty cool how we're driving on the bottom of the ocean we're going pretty slow but that's fine we are still driving uh let's click uh surface here so we're gonna be draining our ballast and these pumps right here should be pumping out water they there's a whole bunch of them so i'm guessing it does it pretty fast so um, this game kind of has an issue when we click um surface it will take a long time just because all these um fluid pumps in here are going up at about four liters a second which really isn't fast at all now we're going to be testing this one which looks quite similar to komodo gamings but it is different it has like skis on it and spotlights and a whole bunch of other cool stuff so let's go ahead and where's the entrance to this thing so there's a ladder here we climb up the ladder and then how do we get in from the ladder um no no okay here's the door okay uh we click door um oh water pressure and oh, there's a water pressure thing in this game okay we we need to add that to our research submarine oh my gosh this is like a complete airlock right here um pump out uh no there's no water in here i think we're good okay and then it says if there's water in the airlock okay where's the lights at there we go perfect like whoever built this just was on the ball and this thing has an entire engine 
from. Okay, this has a pretty cool engine. I like all their um, color displays here with the fire extinguished pressure. Oh my God, that is a high pressure. That's a really low pressure. It's at the negatives. Okay. And then there is a um, emergency generator here. Oh, wait, what is this? An emergency water pump? I don't, I can't tell. Okay. The tsunami is coming. So we have to give our tour quite fast, but this is a storage room and it has some, what is this? Um, An air pump. I don't think that even works. That's pretty cool though. All right, then what's over here? The kitchen. Oh my gosh, this thing has a kitchen in it. We'll make some ramen noodles here. Turn on the burners. Here we go. Okay, okay. And that's also another entrance to the kitchen. Okay. And room water level. And then here's some bilge pumps right here. Then we have an upstairs and then we have a crew quarters where we sleep at. And that's a monitoring room. How do we get in there? I'm just, I'm just going to no clip in. Monitoring room. Emergency lookout to hall. I think this is like an escape pod here. Hold on. Wait, no, this is like a, I don't, wait. Oh my gosh. This is like the hall. Okay. That's what it meant. So you can see if there's like any water in here. That's pretty cool. And then over here is like a CCTV footage thing. And then we can lock down the entire boat. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then we have cameras of everything of what's going on. Okay, that's pretty cool down there. And I'm pretty sure there's like a, a mer wait, what is this? Emergency to full? Wait, what does that mean? Oh, it's like a, I, I don't, I still don't know what that means. Okay. Let's go ahead, hop upstairs, close some of these doors because uh, it might flood. I don't know. Upstairs here, we have a, um, what is this? Cab door? This is our cabin door. Oh, this is where we control this thing. Oh, we can sync serve. Oh, it's like the thing that uh, Komodo Gaming had. We're going to activate our transponder here. There is a tsunami going towards us. And then that is a transponder locator. I do recognize that microcontroller let's turn on some lights here so we can see we're about to get hit by this tsunami so we got to do this stuff kind of fast and then there's a uh, fire suppression stuff let's turn on our stabilizer here i'm um, all right everything's looking good in here we are prepared for this um tsunami seat belts on everyone seat belts on we're preparing to get hit by the tsunami here we go all right tsunami bunker versus tsunami okay um this is gonna be interesting here we go are we going to actually survive here oh oh gosh here we go oh we're on the tsunami oh we're complete we're floating okay i don't think this thing really is affected that much by the tsunami oh gosh we're getting some air time we're getting some air time we do have some propellers right there so we can drive in the water that's pretty cool but we already know like what this thing can do so we're not gonna do that probably but yeah this is a pretty cool little tsunami boat all these uh workshop links are in the description if you're interested now we're gonna try surviving the tsunami in the ultimate tsunami survival boat that we did build actually we made this entire boat on our channel if you guys want to check it out now right, let's go ahead and get this thing started so we got a button here let's put the speed all the way up turn on our displays and dump our clutch to 65 as it says right here here. and 66 will work that's perfectly fine and let's turn on our lights in here so we are um fitted with a kitchen and a little cctv monitor here that has a forward and reverse camera and then we have an equipment hatch right here with a bedroom right here which has three beds the captain's room is right there and these um have some door drawers right here that can go out and there's some emergency stuff in there and then we have a bathroom with a working shower of course and let's not turn that on so we don't flood and yeah and it's also fitted with the best part an escape pod and then we have our engine access hatch right here so we're going to be using this escape pod on the tsunami and this will be able to survive it. We're going to launch it right before we hit the tsunami and hopefully we can jump over it. All right, so we're going towards a full speed. This thing is pretty slow, but it's not made for speed. It's made for tsunamis, of course. Oh gosh, it's about to hit us. Okay, get in the escape pod right now. Oh gosh, I think we're starting to rise the tsunami. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, close the door like that and open this one like that and oh, oh we're rising it. Okay, launch, launch, launch right now. Go, here we go. All right, we're, we just completely launched over the wave. Okay, that was a success. There we go. Okay, now we're completely over and we didn't even barely even feel the effects of the tsunami so that that's pretty good i like how i designed this thing i'm and we're gonna land on mainland okay that was perfect 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 and then to get rid of this parachute that's still a thing let's turn on the launch button and then it should retract the parachute here any second there we go just like that and then we can just get out like that and there we go we did survive we are out but that's probably gonna be it for this video let me know if you enjoyed and let me know if you'd like to see some more tsunami survival content make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell but thanks for watching and goodbye